a classic. It would be a good one to explore together. This is a bit more complex of a project. So because of the attack on Luna, there was a new coin that was born. Uh, Luna Classic is the old chain, but it is operational. So we've got two networks, basically. This is very similar to Ethereum Classic and Ethereum. So the way that went about, there was an attack on Ethereum. Basically, the developers decided to roll back the blockchain, and that became the new Ethereum. Ethereum Classic was born that day because they didn't believe that rolling back the blockchain was an appropriate solution. So very similar to Luna Classic. So the question was, why would we invest in Luna Classic if Doquan is being arrested and extradited, all that fun stuff. Um, the short and simple answer is because Doquan's not involved. When they forked the coin, they put a halt to the mint and the burn function. That means there's no more coin that could enter the markets or there's no more inflation. So the community, the Luna community took over Luna Classic, started using their capital to buy up the, co the coin and introduce burning functions. So a lot going on in that ecosystem and the assets are perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with them. Just because one bad actor decided to take off with the capital doesn't mean that the rest of the ecosystem is compromised. The idea here is when they're burning, they're reducing the supply. So the more that's burned, the more that it's used, the less supply will be on the market. Technically, there is potentially going to be an increase in price. Luna Classic is a branch of Atom Cosmos ecosystem. Um, that's where there is a lot of interoperability. There's a lot that can be done between the burn mechanisms, burning off the excess tokens, and the community activity is really where things are going to be shining. People are building, and that's the big thing that we want to verify. You can see a lot of this data um, is the original data. So that's where they can pick up where, you know, the rest of the ecosystem left off. And those that are, it's a bit of, you know, speculation. That's where, you know, in DeFi, we can verify. We don't have to necessarily just blindly speculate. We can see that there are people building, you know, there's commitments, uh, there's contributors. The idea here is there's development going into the ecosystem. So as an investor, for me personally, this is where things are looking good. It is definitely speculation at this point, but that's where that speculation could pay off very well. Mm -hmm.